Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're moving right along through the uh, games of my youth, playing some SNES games, Super Nintendo games. Uh, had a lot of fun with that console series earlier in the stream today, earlier in the series of YouTube videos. We did a quick look at some of the, some of the, uh, I, I call them time wasters, the games that you fire up and play and you don't really pay too close attention to because it's something to sit and button mash to while your brain's engaged in other things because it's not exactly requiring your full, full attention. And we did some of the fighting games, which are great for parties, great for arcades. Um, you see kids, back in the day, uh, there were big rooms at the mall that had large cabinet versions of all... <laughs> okay, A ask your parents. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll stop that now. All right. And um, so the last couple were, were adventure games. And that's where I actually spent the bulk of my time in, in the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Uh, playing different adventure games that were long and complicated and you had to, you know, take notes and remember your quests and, you know, use a handwritten quest log because game systems didn't incorporate those yet. And now I want to get to a game that came out in 93 and it is The Secret of Mana. It is um, a, a close adjunct of the Final Fantasy. It was originally supposed to be... Uh, it was originally supposed to be a Final Fantasy adventure, and then it got kind of branched out into a Mana series adventure. And it's a high magic. If you're familiar with, with um, if you're familiar with uh, the Final Fantasy series, then you'll get exactly what kind of game setting this is. This, this again, this is a Square game. The long before they became Square Enix, and. Um, this had a couple of new new additions to the way game systems ran. Um, all right, so let's get new game. Let's get our name in. Oh, in. Can I fit it in here? Yes, okay. Here we go. All right, so you get the backstory, just like a lot of the adventure games, using the power of mana. Okay. Where's the button to skip the uh, story? There we go. All right. Oh. Come on. Skip the story. Skip. Where's our skip? And super skip. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. Until. No, no, but time flows like a river, and history repeats. Which sounds. Okay, anyway. So one of the things that made this game unique in its time is that it focused a little bit more on real-time combat and it started a new ring command menu system. All right, come on, keep talking. Ghosts, yada, 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 town bullies, grandma. Um, kind of, <laughs> this reminds me of some of the, the it was a, JRPG list of or a list of JRPG tropes you, you can always tell the hero by how wild the hair is the wilder the hair the more powerful the hero uh, <laughs> and the more ridiculous the sword looks <laughs> don't know what game they had in mind with that one um, up all right let's get through our adventure this definitely has a <laughs> the village is this way i have to find something to cut through like that shining sword in the stone oh wait no 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 we're not going there with this legend we're going somewhere different <laughs> remove the sword 
Who are you? And what's the sword doing here? Ow, the light. I can't see. A ghost. <laughs> it is I who asked the sword. Yeah, this had a, a fun game story. And again, it's one of those um, high magic adventure series. You you had a, a unique little party system. And if you're familiar with JRPGs, like fi all the Final Fantasies and that sort of thing, then you, you get the basic idea. The... the Hey, here we are, cutting grass and shrubs again. That, that's another common problem. <laughs> oh, what's a rabbi doing in a place like this? But instead of the turn-based combat like a lot of the other games had, it was uh, real-time combat. So when we do Chrono Trigger, we'll, we'll do the uh, more typical turn-based system. Although there were a couple other game systems that had the real-time combat. Um, Crystallis for the uh, the regular Nintendo had a real-time combat system like what we're doing now. Um, come on. Die already. That's right. I forgot that the game tried to uh, dissuade you from just spamming the attacks. You had better strength if you let your uh, strength meter recharge there. Actually, now that I think about it, the graphics in this one are probably on par with uh, Harvest Moon. Another favorite of some friends of mine. Or at least the... Uh, the I don't know if you call it a port or a remake. Um... There we go. That's the one. There we go. Come on. Get him. I was hoping to get a little bit more adventuring in, but I keep forgetting. This, this is this is kind of the world one one of uh, of the game where you get a chance to try out the the mechanics. You, you learn that you start getting special attacks and that sort of thing. If you do certain button press combinations and you attack in certain ways, you get a chance to try try your hand at combat against uh, some weaker opponents. So th this is low risk combat training. Your weapon skills up. Sword reaches level one. part of this and, and okay forest off limits oh the forest I just came from yeah, that's right matter of fact since I brought it up I wonder if I've still got it floating around in my notes somewhere uh, oh yeah that's right some of these guys did drop treasure I almost forgot about that all right let's get you shake the box and get some candy that's right. <laughs> to improve your health, eat some candy. Wait, what? Go go gadget level two. Oh no! Don't you know I'm the hero? 
I'm supposed to do more than two damage. But again, yeah, this is them trying to dissuade you from uh, from spamming attack. Because you'll notice 15 on a full attack, six on a partial. Let's see if we can get out of tutorial world. But I do want to get all the XP for these guys because that will help. Alright, which button was the one to talk? There we go. Did you see that? A minute ago, something lit up the sky near the falls. I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> You and me both. Alright, you got your M. You've got... Which one is this? Oh. The Funky Dance. On an errand for the Elder? Best hurry along. What will it be? Buy or sell? I've got 42 gold. What can we buy? We can buy some candy. Overalls, a bandana, cup of wishes, medical herb. Anything else? Nope. Be seeing ya. Alright, what else do we have here? There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Dun dun dun. I wonder if that's who I need to talk to. That guy seems to be a knight from somewhere. What's he doing here? All right, Mr. Knight. Oh. Oh, it's you. Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? All right, that's all right. Maybe it was that he talked to you later in the game when various events happened. Oh, my poor memory. All right, let's talk to the Elder. You're not hurt. They just told me what happened. I thought you were a godder. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. Ah, village boldies. You idiots. Weren't you told not to go there? What's that you have? Oh no, it couldn't be. The Sword of Destiny. Oh wait, no. Ah. <laughs> what have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? It's impossible. No, it's not impossible. I'm standing here with it. The Mana Sword? Legend has it that our village is expedition dumped. Um, uh, no. Exposition dumped. Um, if the sword is removed, the village is done, and here it is. It's said that the Mana Sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's why all the monsters are attacking us now. How could an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? Hey, stop it. Don't make me hurt you. Earthquake! Uh oh. Here we go. Down on a hole. Help! A monster! You have a sword? Use it! Watch how the monster moves before attacking. Well, that didn't help. I'm about to eat it, aren't I? I thought I had a candy from somewhere. Yep, this is gonna end badly, isn't it? I forgot how this went. Ooh, he got me. Get him. And this is where I'm about to get finished, aren't I? 
Yep. Dead. Hang on. I'll help you. Clear your mind. Like <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forget he's going to keep uh, resurrecting me until... No. Oh, seriously? He was one hit away? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There was a there was a port to some mobile phones back in two thousand nine. No, twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. Got swords orb. You did it. Wait there. I'll pull you up. Oh, you couldn't do that before. <laughs> All right. So the bully runs off. The Chrono Trigger looking guy really does look like the same models. I wonder if it's the same people that worked on it. I'll have to check that. Because Square Enix did, or, well, Square at the time did both of them. Okay, anyway, back to the story. That appears to be the real Mana Sword. Huh? What? It's supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the Mana Sword. Here, it's yours. Sorry, but the sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What should I do? Visit Sage Lake Luke. Uh, visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over two hundred years. Listen to her advice. The Elder wants you in his house. I'll have to be off. Oh, my name is John. I'll wait for you inside the Water Palace. All right. So you kind of get the idea. You're off on your typical adventure. You got to go talk to the elder. You got to do the things. You really doubt to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let them stay in the village anymore. <laughs> you get kicked out of your home. Nobody wants you. Sad music plays. Fifty gold. Heading out, see you later. All right. So you get the idea. All right, let me close the content there. Let me move this over to the credits. Yeah, that, there. You barely got started in 20 minutes. That was a fun RPG game. It, the ring command menu gave you all sorts of really fun. The real-time battle uh, definitely had some unique mechanics to it for the time. And uh, it looks like there were some ports that were made uh, later on. Like, uh, ooh, Sorry, checking the notes that I kind of forgot that I had made. <laughs> that that a uh, full a full 3D remake was released for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and Windows back in 2018. Back in 2018, that was only last year, uh, soon to be two years ago. Yeah, think on that one for a while. All right. So you end up with three characters, and you can switch control between the different characters. You know, high high fantasy, and yeah, th this was the first of a couple of games in the Mana series, and all sorts of unique, good, fun stuff. But um, I'll leave if that if you are intrigued by what you have seen. Uh, there, let me double check. I think there was a release put out on Steam. Um. I know there, w there was a Windows port. But uh, now I'm curious. Let's go to the... Let's go to the store. Let's take a look and search the store. Yeah. There is a um, there is a PC port, 3D remake of the game, 
available in the Steam community. It looks like they they definitely uh, redid the graphics. Uh, I hate to say it, but it looks more cartoonish and not in a good way. Um, it looks a little more cheesy than it used to. I don't know how I think about that. And the reviews appear to be very mixed. Um, true to the acting. Oh, oh, true to the original. Oh, that's got voice acting. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the comments seem to be about the voice acting and... <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll leave that to you if you are interested in a game. There, there are... PC ports available around and about. And with this, I get to say thank you for joining along. If you've been watching on YouTube, there's one more episode coming out tomorrow. The day after that, there should be a live stream and uh, onward and forward. And hopefully the uh, first Thursday of January, I'll have uh, the start of season two of Games Revisited, where we'll be going through Chrono Trigger, which is another one of the JRPGs from the SNES era. And I'll talk more about what we're doing on episode one of season two. So I got one more uh, glance at an RPG. If you if you like this, if you have any quips, quotes, queries, quandaries, or whatnot, please leave a comment below the video on YouTube. If you would like to chat along with me while we're going through some of this stuff, there are links to the live streams in the description below. If you're watching live and you missed part of this, some of this, or uh, you know you're going to miss something in the future, don't worry. Everything gets uh, uploaded to YouTube later on. Though there are some interesting conversations in the in between time because uh, I am trying a new format to do a week's worth of recording on the live stream and then release it in 20, 25 minute episodes throughout the course of the week. That seems to be working a little bit better all around for just about everybody, except for my editing time, especially since uh, I don't do so well at budgeting time. And it's already a little bit later than I'd intended, but uh, I definitely want to get one more game in and, uh, and we'll go from there. So if you're watching on YouTube, good night, have fun, subscribe. That way you'll get notified when the next one goes live. And if you're on Mixer or Twitch, hang tight. I've got one more to go. Let me just uh, close this one out.